Howdy folks and welcome to Vampire Story. Uh, I'm just letting it load up real quick. Auto Moon Entertainment. Cool. Uh, I don't know anything about this game other than it's a point and click adventure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a new game started. Alright. Castle Warg. Trans. No. Or Axylvania. Sounds a lot like uh, something out of Space Quest. 1895. Woo! Bravo! Well, Frodrik, did you enjoy my singing? Hell I'm yeah. Sure it was very nice. But seeing as how I'm a bat and all, I wouldn't trust my opinion on opera. But if you knew the Draxylvania polka, mm -hmm. then I'm your bat. <laughs> I like I this guy. If it was good or not, if only I were back at the Pelly Academy. Oh, I just wish I were back in Pelly altogether. <laughs> hmm. I mean, so yeah. Well, she's crying hey, blood. That's worry, weird. Man. I'll get you out of here. All we gotta do. Is stick to the P L A N. Capish? That guy Thank looks like an you, asshole. Frederick. Oh, you're so good to me. You've been pretty good to me too. Besides, hanging out with you, I get a chance to torment Mr. Short Fail and Stupid. Mm. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> oh! Speak of the devil. Aren't you running a little late tonight, errand boy? I'm starving, Shadi. Uh, uh, I need running my short. Yes, that's yes, a great Mona, joke. My love. I shall go off right away and begin hunting for the uh, looking for a wine shop in town. I know just the place. They have an excellent selection of the finest. God, wines. What actor does he sound like? Uh, he, he sounds like a really famous actor. <laughs> oh, negative. Mm, my favorite. Yeah, uh, I'm sure I don't ten remember minutes what... from now will be an excellent vintage. Uh, mm. What actor it is. Are you still here? She also reminds me of an actress, but I don't no. I don't know which actress. Definitely like a like a 50s, right, 60s she's actress, gone. I think. Hey, uh, you know he's getting blood, right? You drink blood. Shh! Now is not the time to start that old argument. It's not blood, it's just well, uh a real thick and uh, salty tasting mellow with a little uh, iron aftertaste? Is that what that is? Uh, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, the Nile blood. is not just a river in colonized British Egyptian Sudan. Ooh, bear? Bro, what are you looking at, bro? Out with it, damn you. Did you see which one? Yeah, uh, the third one on the left, I think. Or was it the first one? You know, uh, well, it was really the last one in the row, right, but, but definitely on the left. The last. <laughs> oh, man! At this rate, I am never going to get off this island. Don't worry about it. I will point and click my way off this island if I need to. What was that? What was what? Uh, Quickly, up to my balcony. So What's she's uh, got voices in her head now. What in the world? Oh, that's mm, that's not good. Why in the world? So big black slime monster. I mean, I guess he's the cousin of the Michelin Man, but sure, whatever. And he lives in a lake. The cousin of the Michelin Man lives in a lake, and he's black. Well, at least he's doing well for himself. What in the world is... And this is a whole lot of exposition. We're not a lot going on. Surprise! Aw, shit. Vampire Hunter just fucked him up. Baku, hey, quickly! No, Mona, my love. I, I shall never set you free. <coughs> don't, don't you know you are mine? <laughs> Forever! What happened? What? 
Man, this is weird. I am free, Project! Free! Cool. I hear you. So I didn't Jeez, have to point and click anything. pretty big ears if you hadn't noticed. And you're not totally free. You yeah, still with have ears to like that, he could hear boathouse. satellites. So then you're stuck here. Oh, right. Good point. Well, I guess we're going to have to find a way out of the castle. Very unusual. He said Mona? Who is this Mona, I wonder? Mona in bed. Most decidedly mm. not done. Nailed that joke. Get it? Get it, nails? Vampires? Cool. This really reminds me of like early, like late 90s, early 2000s, like Cartoon Network sort of like animated. Uh, oh, what's what's it? The the animation with the the grandma and she's a witch. And there's a little girl who's a fairy princess or something. Anyways, yeah, it reminds me of like that late 90s uh, Toy Story kind of animation style. Which I love. It's fantastic. Weird that they threw all the credits at the beginning instead of the end, but sure, whatever. They, they can do them. I'm loving this music, too. Very reminiscent of uh, movie titles and, and sort of reminds me of like a James Cameron kind of movie. done with the credits okay now we're done with the credits and now we might actually get to the actual story or at least game man this is fantastic I am loving this so far it can make me all fuzzy my tum tum okay so oh so now we're actually in game graphics uh, it's stuck <clears throat> there's no way I can open this thing unless we find that key but didn't he take the key with him across to uh push gargoyle examine gargoyle well let's let's look at him what you got going on bro gargoyle. this one looks uncomfortable yeah. like he's between a rock and a hard place <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. I, I really do like the humor of this. This gargoyle looks too dumb to talk. Yeah, he probably has rocks in his head. <laughs> oh, let's. Oh, we shouldn't say that. Um. Let's see. Uh. Sitting on top of a gargoyle would make my cow care way too cold, so I'm going to pass. Okay, I don't know what cow care is, but I'm gonna assume it's French for ass. Frenchy ass. Which, you know, honestly, I wouldn't mind her ass at all. Okay. What is this? Okay. Ooh, here's the bear. Let's take a look at the bear rug. Yeah, this is definitely it's a, a 90s rug. game. Yeah, is it I don't... just me, or are its eyes following us? I mean, yes, yes they are. I'm sorry. But I don't speak bear. Oh, how unbearable of you. I better not. I might not be able to bear the weight. Okay, yeah, see, there's the bear pun. Okay, let's see. There's a fire. That's probably important later. Ooh, rusty sword. Let's go look at the rusty sword. I'm sure she's dealt with a lot of rusty swords in her day. It's a rusty old sword. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, that thing looks like it's in pretty bad shape. I bet it would fall apart if you tried to hit anything with it. Yeah, can I pick it up? It's so rusty. It will definitely shatter if I hit anything with it, but it may have other uses. I'll remember it's here. Okay. So, I have it. Windows. Let's see, what's at the windows? It's a bunch of windows. If I look through them, I can see some beautiful Draxylvanian Alps in the distance. Really? All I see is a hungry lake monster swimming around the castle, looking up this way, then licking whatever passes for his lips. You know what I don't understand? If, if the other dude's a vampire, right? Uh, alright, well, let's go upstairs real quick. If the other dude's a vampire, why didn't he just fly across the lake? Why didn't he need to take a boat? Okay, bases. Mona's bed. Where she does all her bed things. Base of dead flowers. And then, I guess, a balcony. Okay. Uh, mirror. Let's look at the mirror. I don't know what it is about this mirror, but I simply don't look like myself. You're pulling my wing, right? What do you mean? Sweetheart, it looks like Shroudy taped the picture over your mirror, probably because he didn't want you to see, or actually not see, your reflection. Apparently, he had some six-year-old kid draw the picture. Well, I mean... Wait a minute. Nice of what a does it say kid. down in the corner? With love from Shroudy. I mean, Scratch the six-year-old kid cares. idea. I guess I'll have to add art to my list of things that Shroudy sucks at. Maybe I'll put it just below escaping vampire hunters. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get it. He's kind of an asshole. But, you know, at least he did care. Let's see if I can pick it up. Uh... I tear this picture down, but I'm afraid of what I'll see underneath. You mean not see, right? <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, German joke there. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna look at the vases over here. It's a lovely collection of vases. Yep. Uh, Mona, those aren't vases. What do you mean? You see the names on them? Edgar von Trapper Keeper, oh. Ferris von Bueller, Klaus von Kiefer. Faces generally don't have proper names or titles. Those are all of the Baroness's dead husbands. And all this time I thought they were just designer purple containers. Oh, she no. sure had a lot of unlucky husbands. Yeah, unlucky that they met her. So, so Shroudy, I guess, is... The, the husband of the original Baroness and uh I see. might need that but I can't carry it around with me I'll keep it in mind okay uh let's see base of dead flowers is there anything up here no okay let's look at the flowers What what's what's up with the, oh there's a it's paint a there's vase a vase full of dead roses. Shroudy used to bring me flowers every week, but they were always pretty much the same. Roses? Dead. Dead. <laughs> that's that's really funny. Bringing her dead flowers. Um. If I try to pick them up, they just fall apart. It's better to admire them from afar. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, picture. Let's look at this picture. It's a hand-drawn picture. I think it's supposed to be Shroudy's mother. Picasso, he ain't. That's for sure. Oh, well, maybe his mother was the Baroness. Uh, Anna, Aunt, talk to, uh, examine animal noise toy. What? It looks like one of those toys that you spin, and then it makes the various animal noises. Uh, oh, uh, one of those, um, uh, what do you call them? The easy speak thing, you know, where you uh, you pull the cord and it spins around and whatever animal it lands on it makes the noise and tells you the stuff. Anyways. This animal noise toy just might come in handy. Well, I might be able to speak bear with it. Okay. Uh, picture of scary man. Let's look at that. It's a picture of some really weird looking man. The picture frame says, from Jack the Gimper 
to my lovely Baroness. Man, that is one crazy looking man. I hope we never run into that guy. With our luck, we'll probably end up meeting him. So, um, that's a that's a joke on um, Jack the Ripper, and then a gimp being uh, a a uh, a uh, sexual partner to uh, Dominatrix. That is, that is hysterical. I love that. Alright, let's see what else do we have. Okay, so we have a balcony. Uh, Lake Warg. Planter box. Lake Warg and planter box. Planter box. Let's take a look at the planter box. It's a snow-covered planter box. Uh huh. Wipe snow off planter box. Oh, cool. Is, mm, what's in there? Look at that! Beneath the snow are some flower bulbs. Even with the snow gone, I doubt they'll grow. That dirt looks like it hasn't been refreshed in years. <sighs> right. Um. So I guess those are leaves or something in there. Um. Okay, planter box, Lake Warg. Well, let's see what she has to say about Lake Warg. It's the dark, frigid waters of Lake Varg. Do people swim in it? Well, sometimes they float. Usually <laughs> face down. <laughs> God, I love the humor of this. This is this is fantastic. Okay, um. Let's see, I took a look at all that. Oh, I didn't look at her bed. Let's it's see. my bed. Really? Because I thought your bed was down in the basement. You know, that pine box with dirt in the bottom that smells a bit like a corpse? Because she's a vampire. I like sleeping down there better because this room gets way, way too bright. Uh, yeah, I can imagine during the day it would get very, very bright. Um... Well, I don't think I need to pick anything up from her bed, but I might have something to do with it later. Maybe for feathers or something later? Okay, so I have... Let's see. Banner. What's with this banner? Banner above the hall. It's a rather ornate hanging banner. It's the Von Kiefer family crest. A two-headed vulture holding some thigh bones. I can't make out the family motto. Frederick? Get to pickin' while the pickin's are good. Words to live by. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I can go left or right. There's a fire. Probably some wood. Uh, da, 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 da. Talk to the bear rug. Let's see if we can talk to the bear rug again. Sorry, but I don't speak bear. Ah, yeah. Okay, well let's go left and see what see what else we have. New and unexplored territory. Oh, this is the theater. Okay. So we've got the stage, we've got heads on the wall. That's a weird looking rabbit. And it looks like there's a backstage area we can go to. Ooh, bear. I have no need for it. What if we get attacked by a giant Goldilocks? You might want to keep it in mind. Okay, so apparently I can uh, interact with Bearhead. Um, so this looks like some sort of messy area. Well, let's look at the messy area. <laughs> Look at that mess! Frederick, is this your doing? Oh, yeah. I saw some strange guy in a lab coat installing this thing for Shroudy a while back. That's why I was messing around with it. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a note. Cool. Okay, let's read the note. It's a note pinned to the control panel. Uh-huh. And what does it Let say? Let me save you crow's feet and read that for you. It says... Baron Shroudy, I fixed the control panel for the theater flats. I had to, uh, uh find something about, uh, cross-wired to some power source? Uh, 
We'll fix it next time, I think. Signed RM. Man, this guy must be a doctor. I can barely read this note. <laughs> so I guess there's uh, wires that need to be fixed. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is what does this sign actually say? The Mona something something memorial theater. Okay, well she's gonna take her sweet time getting down there to it, but sure, whatever. It's the dedication plaque for this theater. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Shroudy might have a crush on you. <laughs> okay, okay. Well this is fantastic, so um so I guess we need to fix whatever power source to make the theater work. Okay, so now we're on stage. Is there anything... What What's up here? Examine off stage. Okay. There's nothing off stage. It's absolutely, completely empty. There's no reason whatsoever to go back there. But maybe we should... Trust me once for a change. Okay, so... Well, off stage has nothing and I don't see anything else other than that so okay well that was kind of fruitless let's go ahead and go back to the main uh, entry hall and then over to the right okay and she's gonna take forever walking up these steps to get over there I do like her swagger though that is a awesome walk I, you know what? Honestly, I don't see how girls wear long dresses and high heels. Okay. So I think if I go here, is that is that to the right? Or is that back outside? Okay, that looks like it was back outside. I didn't mean to go back outside. Uh, Lake Monster. Let's see. Balcony. Gargoyle, gargoyle, gargoyle. Okay, let's go back inside real quick and see if there's anything else. Okay, um... Now we're going off to the main... This other area. Okay, so I, I guess this is where she sleeps. Headless Clay Man. That's weird. Crushing device. Shroudy's coffin. Mona's coffin. The rats. Iron Maiden. The grinder. A downstairs area. Crate full of dirt. Ooh, mace. Uh, let's look at the mace. I wonder if it'll help us. It's a large mace hanging high up on the wall. From the looks of it, I'd say it's still in pretty good condition. Mace, huh? Is that what it's called? I thought it was called anesthesia. <laughs> oh, funny. Let's let's see if we can take the I mace. I bet a big, heavy, hitting thing might be useful somewhere, but I'm not going to carry it around. I'll keep it in mind, though. Okay. Well, how do I get to my inventory? Um. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Well, that didn't do any good. So I'm going to check out all the things in here. That's a rather odd looking item. I wonder what it's used for. I'll take a wild guess. How about grinding stuff? I mean, yeah, it's called the grinder for a reason. I wonder if gay guys use it a lot. Okay, Iron Maiden. Great band. Not such a great torture it's device. It's some sort of torture device. It looks like my Anne Votre Mère. <laughs> uh, okay, um... Crushing device. Let's look at that. What is that thing? Let me see. It looks like there's a small plaque down on the corner of the chair. Let me read it. It says... Acme oh. Groin Crusher. Oh. Aren't you going to oh. follow that up with some kind of witty comment? Mona, there are some things you simply do not joke about. Yeah, getting your nuts crushed. It fucking sucks. Oh, God. Okay, uh, let's look at the Headless Clay Man. 
It's some sort of fake man thing. I don't know what it is, but it looks like maybe it was made out of clay. Poor fellow. He really lost his head. I think he's a magically created golem. Somebody made him and sent him here for a reason. Okay. He looks like the the hunter. Let's see if Excuse we can talk me. to him. By any chance, do you know how to ride a horse and throw a pumpkin? <laughs> Uh, okay, so I guess he doesn't have that much to... Let's see, one more time. Excuse me, by any oh, okay. chance, do so you know how line. to ride a horse and throw a pumpkin? Okay, um... Let's see, what else do we have? Buy a crate full of dirt. I think we all know what that is. Yeah. Um, let's try to take no some with way. us. Hey, Too heavy! Well, yeah. Okay. Shroudy's coffin. Shroudy's coffin. I can't believe we sleep in the same room. Separate coffins, at least. Sometimes you need to look on the bright side of things. I mean, yeah. I think he genuinely loved her. I mean, you know, sort of the crazy obsessive love, but... <laughs> spit on his coffin. He never spits on things. But believe me, I'm tempted. <laughs> oh, I love that humor. Oh... It's my bed. Okay. You mean it's your coffin, right? Oh, Frederick, you and your vampire obsession. It's my bed, nothing more. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say bed, I say it's a velvet-lined pine box that corpses sleep in. I call that a coffin. Fair I enough, still fair say enough. it's my bed. And come to think of it, I really need to wash my sheets. For some reason, each morning when I wake up, I am laying on a pile of dirt. I'm no expert, but I think the dirt is something you vampire types need for some reason. It's something about a grave. I swear I read that somewhere. So, I'm a vampire, so I won't be needing this dirt. Well, she most certainly is a vampire, but, um... Talk to Mona's good. I don't think we can talk to it. Let's pick I it up. I don't need to be dragging my bed. Coffin! I'm going to ignore that! Anyway, I don't need my bed right now, but it's good to know that it's here in case I need it later. Cool. So, that's... Oh, awesome. Okay, rats. Let's look at the rats. Eek! Rats! You mean Frankie and the gang? Nah, don't worry about them, Mona. That rat pack is a bunch of good fellas. <laughs> if you say so, those are some rats inhabiting the crypt. Oh god, I wonder if they play music too. Please tell me they play jazz. Uh, Please tell me they Hello! Hey, you know there yourself, Dollface. How are you doing today? Yep. Uh. Who are you? My name is Frank. Although my friends call me Frankie. I'm here with my associates, Sammy, <laughs> Joey, and Dean. We've been living in this castle for quite some time. You might say we uh, manage the neighborhood. Oh god. Oh. How you doing, Frankie? Hey, look, you guys. It's the Frodenmeister. I told you about him. This crazy guy could do things with his calcar that would make your head spin. You still do that trick, eh, Frody? Oh, no, Frankie. I I've sort of stopped doing stuff like that. I'm laying off the vino now, staying clean, if you know what I mean. Ah, forget about it. Yo, oh, uh, hey, sorry to hear about the thing with Rocco. You know, he's still looking for you. He and the Belfry boys are still pretty steamed up. Better make it right and soon. Capiche? And what about you? Looks like you got yourself a full-on rat pack. Don't be a wise guy. You're trying to be some kind of comedian or something? <laughs> nah, I really think of myself as more of a short, one-eyed song and dance man. Please forgive him. <laughs> eh, forget about it. Oh, I love this. Okay, so, uh, it looks like we can talk to him some more. Um, I, uh, I will, uh, I'll let you guys hear the rest of this conversation next episode. Um, so see you all then. Bye-bye.